Propeller heads have been highly successful at creating an application like Reason, wherein it's an application that can get as complex as you want. But because of the straightforward interface, even the most complex operations seem relatively simple. This is largely due to the wiring system that has been in place since Reason 1.0 and has always been a trademark of the program. The wiring or control voltage cables and audio cables give the user a brilliant graphical representation of signal flow and control voltage routings. This makes it easy to determine and even theorize how an operation might work through routing cables creatively. Also, when the combinator was introduced, Reason users were given a device that was relatively simple but allowed you to get as complex as you wanted because it was a Reason rack inside a Reason rack. Aside from the combinator, all of the other devices within Reason are extremely simple, and because of their excellent ability to emulate existing audio hardware, many users pick up their operation relatively quickly, with one exception. One device within Reason that is highly applauded, highly regarded, and completely daunting not only in its appearance but in its operation is Thor. Thor literally could be a program in unto itself as it creates sound, allows intricate internal patching, and has its own sequencing capability. It can create drums, covers almost every form of synthesis out there, and even emulates the characteristics of the human voice. Wow. Usually with such a flexible instrument, one might get the idea that it's a great jack of all trades, but a master of nothing. This couldn't be farther from the truth. Even though it has multiple capabilities, it's true to its first and primary objective. It's a very thick and awesome sounding synthesizer. And if you'll just scroll through some of its presets, you'll immediately get a good idea of what I'm talking about. In this video series, we're going to go through an in-depth walkthrough of Thor. We're going to get to know how it works internally, externally, and do some sound design exercises together that will give you an amazing edge in using this amazing instrument. Keep in mind, because Thor can get so complicated, it's a good idea to start from the top in this series so that you don't miss some important functions. Also, feel free to pause, rewind, fast forward, etc. when you need to. Because Thor covers so many forms of synthesis, this is going to be a great opportunity to learn basic and advanced synthesis as we move forward. Because Thor is designed as a semi-modular synthesizer, almost all of the major aspects of synthesis are covered. This is great because if you can learn something like Thor, you'll have an immediate familiarity with any synthesizer that comes along later. Alright, enough talk. Let's get started.